Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button down below. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. As you guys can see by today's title, I am going to be doing a beauty haul from things that I've recently ordered, got in the mail, and that I really wanted to show you guys. Some of these are new and some of them have been around but some of them are new and I'm so excited to share them with you guys because some of them this is my first time trying so I'm really excited to like kind of see like how they work and what they look like and talk about them with you guys so if you guys want to see some of the things I just ordered and got in the mail keep watching <music> So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is within skincare and body care and it came in like a little kit so it's all the same brand. I actually got this off of QVC. I'm really upset. I feel like I'm an old lady. I literally watch QVC and I order all the like little like beauty kits like makeup skincare like brands that I really love and know. They just really sucker you in with those little today's special values and the kits. So, you guys have probably heard of this brand. She's at Sephora. I don't know about Ulta, but she's on QVC. That's where I always know her from. And I've had some of her products in some of my previous videos. So this is a kit I got off QVC by Josie Moran. It's called the Daily Dose of Argon Joy. So literally guys, I got this in the mail today and I literally wanted to make like, well, okay, first of all, I wanted to make a Sephora haul, but I ended up making like my current favorites and I put some of my new stuff from my Sephora haul in that video. If you guys haven't watched it, I'll go ahead and put it there. But there were some things from that Sephora haul I didn't show you guys, so I wanted to put that in this video too. But because I just got this in the mail today, instead of making a Sephora haul, I'm making a beauty haul because this is from QVC. Oh, guys, in this little kit or whatever is her Argon Cleansing Oil, Whipped Argon Oil Face Butter, Argon Sugar Scrub Lip Butter, and you know her famous whipped argan oil body butter so i have like two or three of her whipped argan oil body butters life-changing if you guys know about argan oil or know josie's product her you know whipped body butter is literally just the best like absolute best um it's like great ingredients and it's just so good for your skin and she she's great so we are going to start with the josie moran argan cleansing oil nourishing argan oil daily cleanser for all skin types this is what it looks like guys. This is a six fluid ounce. That's huge. That's so much like face wash. It says you could do three to four pumps, dry hands, apply, oh, apply evenly on dry face, then wet your face and massage it into a rich milk. Then you rinse it with water. I've never used cleansing oils. I've always used face washes. So I'm guessing this probably helps like get makeup off and stuff like that. Um, if you guys, have used this exact one or any other cleansing oil for your face wash please comment down below which ones which ones you like and like do they really work and if you've tried this one please let me know if you like it too it says on the back of the box that nutrient rich oils gently melt away impurities balances replenishes and hydrates effortlessly cleanses all skin types without drying or stripping skin in this kit it's naturally derived in organic ingredients cruelty free gluten free organic argan oil paraben free phylate free sulfate free synthetic fragrance free vegan and recyclable so guys i'm so excited to try this because it's going to be something so new for me so this is her whipped argan oil face butter so this is what it looks like it literally just looks like the same drawer as her body butters yeah so no really like crazy scent it's ultra hydrating you know you can apply day and night after cleansing but this says that it's hundred percent pure argan oil whipped to lightweight perfection watermelon seed oil and aloe nectar boost moisture for firmer looking skin hydrates and restores dry combination and normal skin so basically kind of for all skin types I would say besides like super oily skin um, okay guys we are moving on to her Argon Sugar Scrub Lip Butter. This is what it looks like, guys. How freaking cool is this? Literally, how cool is that? I purposely wore lip balm and not a lip color today, like not a lipstick, to literally try this on camera with you guys. Just to literally just kind of tell you the texture, like what am I thinking about it? Wow. You can kind of feel just like a tad little grittiness from that but it's so smooth and buttery y'all it's literally oh my gosh it's so like oh love that 
Can't wait to try it also with like clean lips too. This says that sugar crystals gently buff away dry flaky skin Argan oil nourishes and hydrates for soft conditioned lips smooth silky finish So I can't wait guys. It's kind of like, you know, you do this whole routine, right? You do her wash you do the moisturizer and then you put this on maybe put a little mascara on and you're good to go girl out in the summer you know out to the gym you don't want to wear makeup but you're glowing girl so last thing guys this is her whipped argan oil body butter if you guys are a huge like qvc fan or like at sephora and you know her body butters that's pretty much like what she's known for um this i think it's unscented so this one doesn't have a scent a lot of times she'll do like qvc specials during the holidays and she'll do like holiday scents she'll do like fall winter scents spring scents um, but this one that came in the kit is unscented. It says argan oil nourishes skin with essential nutrients. Shea butter, avocado oil, and white tea extract revitalize and restore. And it's also lightweight, velvety texture and absorbs intensely. And I can definitely like say like yes to that because like I said, I have like two or three of her like big jars from like holiday QVC packs and literally it's the best like even if you get unscented like it's the best like it literally sinks right in it's not too oily you think argan oil it's gonna be oily it's not too oily it's so like it says velvety smooth and like supple it's not super sticky your skin just literally feels silky soft hey guys, so know. moving on to from sephora i ordered my ole hendrickson truth juice daily cleanser from his truth line this is a two ounce. If you guys know this, his truth line, obviously it's so juicy and orange and I just love it. It goes on a little more creamy, but it kind of lathers up. It, it makes your skin feel so bright and vibrant after and clean. It cleans off makeup, everything guys. It's so good. It doesn't burn your eyes. Like that's like one big thing. I've had cleansers that like burn my eyes when I try to get like mascara and eyeshadow off. This does not. I literally love this. It just, your skin feels so fresh after. And I also have his serum, moisturizer, and eye cream from the same truth line. All four of those are really great together. I recommend all four of them together. So I got these with my Sephora points and um, another sample, but it was by the same company. I stayed within the same company. I've personally never heard of it. You guys may have. Let me know in the comments if you have. But it's by a company called Lord Jones. And this is their whole plant formula, pore detox CBD face oil. So I'm guessing this, this is what the little sample looks like. I'm guessing that this company is maybe known for like putting CBD in their products. Um, because it's like plant and it says it has squalene in it, jojoba oil, nia oily, nia oily. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oil. So it targets pores without stripping the moisture and yeah so it's all it's vegan cruelty free contains 20 milligrams of cbd i'm really excited to like try this oil like does it like calm down like blotchiness like what does like the cbd and skincare do i'm really excited and staying within that same brand this is what i got with my points it's the whole plant formula acid mantle repair cbd moisturizer so this is what i got this little mini guy with the points i think it was 100 points it says that it's a protective acidic outer layer of the skin that acts as a barrier from contaminants you know if you over exfoliate then it may come off but it helps rebalance the appearance of stressed skin it you know it's ph balance and it has fatty acids, ceramides, cholesterol, um, and the CBD, you know, it in the quercetin, whatever, I don't know if I said that right. It smooths or it soothes and has hyaluronic acid to hydrate. And then it also has ginger and elecampane flower. Guys, I butchered that and I know I did. Sorry for that. I really don't know what that says. That helps boost protection from environmental pollutants. So you can use this morning and night, you know, if you need a boost. Again, this has 35 milligrams of CBD. So there, well, at least this is without formaldehyde, parabens, phylates, proline, glycol, sulfates, synthetic dyes. It's cruelty free. Again, made in the USA. I'm looking at a lot of stuff. It looks good, guys. So I'm really excited to try this. If you guys have tried anything by this company, Laura Jones, please comment down below and let me know like what you tried and did you like it? Did it really work? And this is what the little jar looks like. It's a little white jar. 
So I'm really excited guys. I'm really just excited to see kind of like what the CBD does. Um, Cause I've taken CBD gummies. Yeah. So last but not least within my little Sephora haul, this is the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick in the shade Light. I think I got the wrong shade. Um, again, they're made in the USA. I think they're cruelty free and vegan too because they're clean beauty on Sephora That's why I got it because I'm trying to switch like all I've always done good with skincare clean skincare But I'm trying to switch over for makeups I didn't realize like half the brands I use are not cruelty free and that kind of like means a lot to me Nowadays like I found out all this stuff. So this is what it looks like, you know, you just roll up the foundation stick um, but this one I think may have been like kind of my wrong shade. Uh, I have it on now You may not be able to see because the ring light but I think it had the wrong like undertones, but then I, I got matched with this one and the one I really wanted and thought that was mine, that would be my shade, was sold out. I've used it a few times and I really love the texture and like it blends in with, I use a beauty blender and it blends in like pretty good. And you know, it's kind of like hydrating, it's not too oily. And they have really good reviews on this guys. So if you haven't tried it and you're looking for like a uh, foundation stick, I would probably kind of try this as far as a stick. I recommend it, I think it's a cool, you know, it's clean beauty and it actually like works. Like it blends pretty good and stuff. And it's medium coverage by the way. So it's not too heavy and cakey, but it's not too like light like, if you don't want the sheer. But yeah guys, so that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed or found a new product that you guys want to try now and that you're fangirling just like me. And all my social media will be linked down below. So give me a follow. And other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.